Congratulations. Up to this point, I think you have learned almost all the basic knowledge about how a computer works starting from um, bits. So first, computer will work with bits because it's um, only have the two states, which is on and off only. Uh, then um, when we know that it's they work with bits only, then how do they represent things like numbers, image, picture, um, videos, audio, so on and so forth. After that, um, we learn that computer is not just about representing things. It is about producing new knowledge or performing computation. So how do we produce new knowledge just from true or false or, 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 or bits with on or off? So we were basing on uh, propositional logic that we learned, which has several of the logical operators that help to combine propositions. And proposition is the same as one bit. So they combine proposition and create a new proposition or a new bit with a new information or new knowledge. So we were learning logical operators over there. Then well, okay, logical operator help us to create new knowledge, but how do we implement them in hardware? Okay, and so we learned um, to use transistor to um, to make logic gates or the simple digital circuit that help to implement logical operators like and or sor nor so on and so forth. Then we moved on to um, learning also about um, learning about um, digital circuit design so we do have some business requirements that we can form using the truth table okay but then if we use the truth table it's not enough for us to wire or create the, the digital circuit so we learn the technique to convert from the truth table into boolean equation um, which are um, the, the um, sum of products and pro uh, products of some form. But converting into Boolean equation using these two techniques is normally not creating optimal circuit. So it's going to be a wasting a lot of material. It's going to be big. It's going to be not expensive, so on and so forth. So we would like to minimize, optimize this Boolean equation. That's why you was learning Boolean algebra with the ACMs and the theorems to minimize the, um, the, the to minimize the, the Boolean equation so that you can wire. Then um, at the to what the end of the uh, module, we was learning also to perform some uh, actual digital design to design the practical circuits to perform additions of numbers, including of, uh, the half adder the full adder and also we already be able to design and implement um, one adder that can add a numbers that represented in um, a sequence of bits instead of one bits and so um, very similar approach that we we or people used in order to generate the circuits that can perform a lot of multiple or different computation that we are using from um, computer right now. So um, for this part, for this model, it concludes the lecture for us in this course about um, how the computer work or um, the part about logics and digital design. In the next part, we're going to um, learn more about the math part or the quantitative, uh, quantitative foundation. Um, specifically, we'll learn about the part that help us to develop problem solving skills um, using math uh, and also algorithm design. Then we move on for statistics and we also move on for um, probability as well. We'll see you more in the future models.